Hi guys, Ethereal Awakening here doing an individual zodiac sign reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check your north node. Um, first, I wanted to say thank you to my new subscribers. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Liking, sharing, commenting. I love it. I'm enjoying interacting with everybody and I'm enjoying the fact that you're liking me. <laughs> so I will continue on. Um, again, this one's for Gemini. If there's something in it, your heart is your best guide. It will resonate with you. If it leaves a bad taste in your mouth, spit it out. Move on. No big deal. All right, Spirit, what messages do we have for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising in the sign of Gemini. Venus also. Spirit, what messages do we have for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising, Venus in the sign of Gemini. One more time. All right, that feels good. And current energy. Two cards there is... Three of Cups, Ace of Rods, Heart Space, Ace of Cups, King of Rods. All right, Jim. And possible outcome Two of Rods. A lot of manifesting going on here, Jim. And the moon. A lot of manifesting, but you don't know what. <laughs> and that's okay. That's okay. Underlying energy, what you might not be aware Oh. What you might not be aware of is you're manifesting ten of pentacles here. King of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. Uh, yeah, Jim. You got the king of rods in your heart space and the king of pentacles in your underlying energy. Whatever this passionate, whatever this, <sighs> current energy is three of cups, ace of rods. There is either some sort of gossiping and, and some negative fuckery that you have decided you no longer want to be a part of, but you have learned about it enough to know, uh-uh, I'm going to use this as fuel to get out of situations like that for good. These three cups that these chicks are looking over are empty. And they just like the look. Mm-hmm. Who she thinks she is? Who does he think he is? Da 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 da. Why, well, you know, they. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what? And I got my rod and I'm. Screw you, I'm going home. Like, who are these three broads anyway? Their motivation is what they are. Their fuel in your fire. They are, they are fire in your tank. And they are shooting you right towards a full emotional cup. Because when we sit in situations that don't feel good long enough, we just want to feel good. But we want to feel good lasting. Not that temporary feeling this is ace of cup the ace of cups here and there's two aces here so this is like this is not temporarily filling your hole <laughs> this is permanently filling that cup to where it's actually filling from itself it's a self-filling cup and this king is looking right at that cup like i'm not emptying that cup anymore for girls or hoochies or dudes who just sit around and going mm-hmm Ain't got nothing better to do but just go, mm-hmm. Like, really? Like, enough of that. I'm filling my own cup. Screw you. I'm going home. God's got bigger plans for me. And when I stop letting people decide my happiness for me, I get that, that fire in my gut. I get my emotions met because I can do that alone. And then in the future... I just have myself to choose. There again, there's the same one rod, current energy, heart space. The two of rods, again, I always look at this as the this guy's got blue gloves on. He's got one hand on the globe, and then he's got the other hand on one rod, and then the other hand here is pulling, that's like God, pulling that other rod 
rod away so you have one rod. There's no choice here. Choose you. Choose you. Choose you and not being in that negative, back-talking, gossiping, backstabbing, you know, fake fuckery that we will sit in because it's, oh, so-and-so did this yesterday and, you know, and that's just, well, at least I'm not like that. Well, you are. You're just like that when you're sitting there talking about it all the time. Instead of going out and being more Christ-like, which is exactly what this looks like to me. When this Mitch, when these rods are so, this is, you know, one rod, you, you, your rod. God moves the other choice out and says, choose you and you'll never go wrong. All the secrets in the world will be revealed to you. What you don't know about yourself will be revealed to you. It's kind of like the moon. He's got that moon in his hand, kind of. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going for myself because I'm tired of feeling this way. So, Jem, and then choosing you on that deep, respectful, honoring, loving, deeply loving, deeply appreciating. You work hard towards that. Look, finding out who you are and you get Ten of Pentacles. You will manifest into your reality the kingdom that you wish you had. You've always wished you had since you was a little kid. I want all these great things. And I want to help all these people. I mean, go back to when you were a kid, Jim. Like, you know, most of us said we wanted to be something when we grew up because it was something that helped other people. Doctors, firemen, you know, lawyers, they got the underdog out of all the hell, you know, the hell that they were in. We wanted to do good things with our lives because we saw the benefit in helping each other. But we got lost along the way. We lost ourselves along the way. This is journey back to you, Jim. You're not really sure how you're going to get there, but you're going to get there. Because God's with you so long as you are choosing yourself on that deeply loving, deeply appreciating, deeply honoring level. You know, this is cutting out, cutting out all that childlike shenanigans. Not childlike shenanigans, immature shenanigans. Nobody sitting around talking about people who aren't present is really worth your time. I'm sorry. It's just not. I don't even talk about, I don't even like to talk about people who aren't present in a good light. Because if they're not present, their perspective on whatever I'm talking about them for is being lost. Maybe they don't want to share that event. Maybe, the, you know, do not bring up other people in conversations if they're not there. If you need to talk about somebody, we all have cell phones. Put that bitch on speakerphone. Like, hey, honey, the other day, da -da 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 -da, you know, make sure that your conversations are aligned in truth and honesty and purity and Ten of Pentacles, the kingdom, the King of Pentacles energy that sees that Ten of Pentacles and goes and gets it because he worked hard on figuring out who he was. You're worth it. You are worth it, Jim. Well, I hope this has helped. 